Well, tonight the city of Denver slamming on the brakes, changing its Vision Zero strategy and an effort to reach zero traffic deaths by 2030. This year, 27 people have already died in traffic crashes. The city realizing it's got to do something different. Your reporter Gabriella Vidal joins us live tonight. And Gabby, you've learned of these new strategies and the roads they hope to test on. Yeah, Karen, and 60% of fatal crashes actually happened on nights like this in the, in the last year, which is why the city is looking at two specific roads in the Denver area as a way to improve safety strategies moving forward. Whether you live, work, walk, or drive along this stretch of Federal Boulevard. We can get really bad, uh, very fast driving people. People say the traffic and safety concerns here are apparent. Sometimes people, they don't follow the rule. The single most effective way to save lives is to have people not speed. That's the focus of the city's new speed program on Federal from 52nd Avenue to Lloyd Avenue and on Alameda from Sheridan Boulevard to Havana Street. 18 months that will include saturating these roads with speed limit signs and deploying mobile speed vans and automated cameras. There are definitely streets that need attention, in my opinion, because it's where, I guess, I don't know, people race the most. The program will also include timing traffic signals at night to stay red until a car arrives and timing them to give pedestrians a greater head start walking. That's important. Gift shop owner Fan Luang says it's these kinds of changes that could encourage more people to feel safe visiting stores along these corridors. If changing better, that's good and more protection for the people. And this pilot program will actually be funded through the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure's budget and changes to each of these corridors will cost roughly $1 million each. In Denver, Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First.